Hello, my name is Brian Rogers. I come from the state of Pennsylvania, and I'm seeking a position on the Leadership Development and Nominations Committee for Region 4. I've been an ENA member for 15 years. I started out in the state of Kentucky and in 2017 moved to the state of Pennsylvania. 2018, I really started taking a leadership role um, with my local chapter. 2019, I became the chapter president for the capital area chapter of Pennsylvania ENA. I'm currently the past president for capital chapter and the president elect for Pennsylvania State ENA. I've previously served on the Emergency Management and Disaster Preparedness Committee, where I served as the committee chair in 2021. I'm currently serving on the Education Advisory Committee. I'm seeking a position on the Leadership Development and Nominations Committee because I want to continue to assist in the growth of ENA. I'd like to give back um, because ENA has really helped me grow as an emergency nurse. I presently see the ENA as the leader and a voice of the emergency nurses in the United States with an ever-increasing international presence. ENA needs to continue to be at the forefront in ensuring the safety of the nurses anywhere in the world. ENA can do this by continuing to have a strong leadership team with a vision to continue its growth. I was asked to answer the question, as a member of the Leadership Development and Elections Committee, how would you identify and develop future leaders of ENA? The next generation of ENA leaders needs to exemplify and embody the leadership role and bridge that generational gap by connecting with both the existing population of ENA and the upcoming members. The people I'll be looking for to help lead ENA in the future will need to be approachable and responsive to new ideas and will engage those who challenge their ideals. The leader should have an open mind and be willing to listen to alternative viewpoints and empower others to create their own path and guide them when necessary. Finally, a good leader can't be stagnant. They should always, they should always be identifying ways to grow and improve themselves and their leadership skill set. I think I'm capable of finding that next generation to help ENA continue its growth by networking with the existing and the future members and recruiting those of whom I see the leadership qualities.